Audhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillah Rahman Rahim So this is a question from our sister uh, She identifies herself at, uh, as somebody from Europe uh, We don't know her name But let's take her question She is saying uh, Will the women who gave bay'a to Imam al-Mahdi Will have to fight And will there be war everywhere So that staying in a homeland as she is from Europe or moving to Pakistan will be the same regarding safety. Uh, sister, uh, may Allah bless you. You have a very uh, valid question. Uh, first of all, um, it will be the same or similar situation like uh, uh, when, when it was the time of uh, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that mostly women used to stay at the back uh, but when uh, when it was needed uh, women would also go uh, on on war voyages uh, with the muslims and with the uh, sahaba and, and nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but that that was mostly not for fighting uh, that was mostly uh, as a backup or as to provide water and uh, first aid uh, to the muslims and the soldiers who were wounded uh, during the war uh, so, uh, so that's mostly is uh, is philosophically, theoretically speaking, would be the case. But in the case of Ghazwatul Hind, uh, it will be a war between armies, and it w it is the war in which uh, we know uh, from a hadith that uh, the, the the enemies from all over the world come combined uh, as one army. There will be all different banners, but they will be combined and join hands as one army and attack Muslims. And Muslims would retaliate. And speaking from the context and knowing from uh, the geopolitical scenario, we know that this is a highly uh, technologically savvy world. Uh, we are very advanced in technologies. We are very advanced in weaponry. We are very advanced in, uh, in, in air force and bombs and what missiles and anti-missiles, uh, radar systems, signal systems, communications, what not. So, um, so it will be the war of technology. So they will be attacking with whatever the best they have and Muslims would retaliate and fight back with the best they have. And the Muslims would have the best of the best technology so it, it will be so good and so wonderful that that Muslims uh, who were limited uh, to to uh, like a very fraction of the Muslims we see today, and they were be uh, they were they were living in Pakistan, and they would be fighting back with th with that technology that Allah will be providing uh, to the Muslims, and it will be so good that those very few people, very few Muslims, would be able to defeat the enemy and the enemy would be the whole world against a very few muslims in pakistan uh, so uh, so it is very less likely that the women have to would have to fight uh, in the, this case uh, like those fighter jets pilots tanks uh, frontline uh, fighting would be uh, taken care of by men mostly yeah, so it is very unlikely that the uh, that the women would have to fight like that. Uh, that's the one thing. That, about the second part of your question, that uh, will there be war everywhere, and uh, and will it be like same if you stay in the Europe or in Pakistan? And uh, no. Uh, the first thing is that yes, there will be war, uh, but that war at the time of Bayah and at the time of Ghazwatul Hind, the war would have swallowed most of the Middle East already, the Muslim parts. And then that war would expand uh, to Pakistan in the form of Ghazwatul Hind. Europe, US, until then, would not be as such in a state of war like the Middle East. So probably uh, people living over there might be relatively safer uh, than the people in the in the Middle East but 
there will be a lot of hatred and there will be a lot of hue and cry against the Muslims in all parts of the world, either it be Europe, US, West, Australia, or any parts of the world. So the safest bet and the safest route for the Muslims anywhere in the world is to migrate to where Imam al-Mahdi will be from, and that we all already know and we have discussed that uh, he will be someone from Pakistan. So, so, so definitely it will not be the same uh, if you live in the Europe or in Pakistan. So it, you must move to Pakistan before these big wars uh, happen because Pakistan would be the safe place and Pakistan would be victorious over other lands. As I said, before the advent of Ghazbatul Hind, Europe might still be in relatively uh, peace, uh, peaceful, but during and after Ghazbatul Hind, Europe would be defeated, US would be defeated, Russia would be defeated, and they will they will have to pay for their atrocities. They will have to pay for, uh, for, for the things they have been doing against the Muslims, the things they have done in Libya, the things they have done in Iraq, the things they have done in Yemen, and all of the atrocities and the killings and the bloodshed they have been doing. So they would have to pay for their actions. So right after the war, when Muslims, uh, after defeating India and all these uh, superpowers attacking on Pakistan, Pakistan would be taking over all of India. And not only that, then Pakistan would expand its war to take back all of the lost lands in the Middle East. And in that situation, when Pakistan would be reconquering all of the lost lands, the West would lose everything. They would not have the power to, to, to take on this long war. They would be financially destroyed. They would be physically destroyed. They would be defeated in, in the worst way they could imagine. So because of uh, the effects of this war, uh, their, their internal situation would deteriorate in such a fashion that it will be chaos, there will be civil war, especially in the US and also uh, very, very bad conditions in the Europe. So much so that they would be giving, they would be handing over their own government and administration to Pakistan. Some parts after a fight and other parts, um, uh, they, would, they would just hand it over. So, uh, so about your second question, uh, it is advised um, to, to migrate to Pakistan as soon as possible, inshallah.